Treasury Ministry has made a strong case for Singapore to continue to make fine adjustments to the inflow of foreigners as the country faces an aging population and dwindling workforce. It also stressed that the days of high economic growth are over. The time now is, it is said, for Singaporeans to come to a consensus on the appropriate level of growth for the next few decades. More from Imel Desaad. Singapore's Economic Strategies Committee has said that a GDP growth of between 3 and 5% a year is a healthy target to aim for. But to achieve this, there needs to be a rethink of growth strategies, especially against the backdrop of shrinking workforce. On Tuesday, the Trade and Industry Ministry outlined three broad approaches. One, to raise productivity through business restructuring and retraining of the workforce. Two, to raise the resident labor force participation rate. And three, to calibrate the level of immigration and foreign in manpower, both high-skilled and low-skilled ones. While Singapore can strive to raise its resident workforce participation, there are limits to this. For example, Singapore's male labor force participation rate is already one of the highest in the world. So, the need to turn to foreign manpower. Obviously, you know, the local talent is the key, but you can't always find that. So, we need to be investing in bringing in that, those really high-caliber talents to Singapore to really pass that skill and knowledge onto the rest of the organizations and the, um, the country in its whole. If you take away the foreigners, if you take them away from starting of new sectors, you lose that sector, you don't get a job. For the first time, authorities have reviewed the distribution of foreign workers in the economy. While many go to construction and manufacturing, the bulk, 41%, or more than 400,000 foreign workers, go to the services sector like FMB and retail. The ministry said most are transient workers. And while some Singaporeans may have expressed concerns about the presence of foreigners depressing wages, taking away jobs and even encroaching on space, Mr Lim noted it's a different argument when you look at the sectors which these foreign workers are contributing to. So I think what the paper tried to address is instead of these generalities about I'm unhappy with foreign workers, well, talk about your sector. You know, where, which sector are you in? Are you in the healthcare sector? Are you receiving services from the healthcare sector? Well, if you've got no foreign workers, be prepared to pay higher costs. Uh, Mr. Lim also warned of the consequences yeah. should Singaporeans choose the path of even slower growth. Managing slower growth is far, far more difficult than managing you know, a, a decent, appropriate, sustainable growth. Now, the ministry produced this 23-page document ahead of a white paper on population policies to be released by early next year. This is so that Singaporeans know the issues and make an informed decision when they come together to co-create a future for the country. Now, Sir, Channel News Asia, Singapore.